Hello everybody, I'm Serto and welcome to Stranded Alien Dawn. This is a game that I played uh, about a year ago and uh, I didn't manage to do any videos on it but they brought out a very interesting DLC and I want to dive in and first of all see if I can remember how to play the game and also have a look at all the new goodies. So let's get stuck in. So we're going to click on a new game. We're going to select the new Guardians scenario. And we're just going to leave everything standard. And oh yeah. Now we have to now apparently there's a new guy in here. Uh that's him. Okay, so you have to double click to get rid of them. Okay, now let's see. Okay, I want Henry because he's the new guy and he's good at combat and very interested in combat, and we're gonna need a fighter. So we'll double click him and he's in. We're going to need somebody who's into cooking and crafting and someone who's into construction. So let's have a look at what we've got to work. Okay, Rita seems to be quite keen on farming. She's interested in cooking and she does crafting as well. She also does healing. So she looks like a good one, which means that I'm just short somebody to do construction. And I think Rocker. Yeah, interested in construction. Indifference on healing, but that's fine. And he's Rita's cousin. Interesting. All right, cool. So those are our three. So the story in this scenario is you've rescued this AI robot from some evil robotic corporation and uh, you're trying to escape and you're being pursued. Oh, your things aren't going too well. I think we're going down. And we are down. And there's our first look at the AI robot named Hope. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. Let's have a look at where we are. Okay, we have some stuff around. There's a fair bit of food. A little bit of the silicon stuff. We've got some wrecks. We've got this that we can use as a uh, bit of a defensive back wall. That's quite good for strategy. How's our land over here? Yeah, we can build. We've got plenty of land, and I'm not sure about the quality of the soil. Yeah, okay, that doesn't look like a very bad place to land. I think we could probably have our buildings in this area, have this all fenced off, and farming out in maybe, you know, pretty much everywhere. Bits and pieces of it. Cool, so first thing we need to do. Uh, let's set this for scavenge. So we're going to scavenge our landing pod, grab everything that we can out of it. For a start, and just for now, I think uh, I'm going to put some storage and places to sleep down in this area. Let's grab our shelter. We've got a, a fair bit of scrap metal, so we'll use that and we'll just pull two shelters and just do them back to back. That way they can walk straight through. All right, so we're going to need one for, for beds. And if you hold shift in place, then you can place another one. And there we go. That's a, a nice spot. So we are going to put some storage, some stockpiles. We'll do the stockpiles on the outside because I only want to put construction materials on these. So we'll just do those. And then we'll do some storage racks on the inside. Um, I'll just put wood. No, we don't have wood yet. And this will be for pretty much everything else. So what you can do then is if you click one, this whole line is is then selected as one storage area. And you can restrict things. So I don't want... Let's deselect all. And I only want construction materials in that one for now. And construction materials at the moment is only scrap metal because we don't really have anything else. And then on the inside, this one I want everything except construction materials which is fine because uh, you can't put construction materials onto these shelves so good right so that'll give us a little bit of a start and then we need a campfire uh, which we can't do because we don't have wood so we're going to need to get the game running now and i'm going to start off by collecting some bushes um broadleaf bushes we're going to cut those we're going to need trees. Okay, we need wood. Uh, the bushes will give us sticks. 
so broadleaf trees and I set those to be cut and then we need to do some observation so let's observe that now observation is like research uh, you're checking out what it is and what you can do with it and after that you can farm them perhaps or do other stuff with right our people are working very hard hope is transporting stuff now hope as far as i know doesn't need to sleep so she which reminds me we should set up a schedule all right so first things first uh hope work right through uh for now anyway uh she will get she will have needs later on and then we need to go into the activities so right now i want hope to do some research actually we're going to make it not simple priorities, uh, more advanced priorities. And we would hope to do research before she does anything else. She can then deliver. And that's about it. Yeah, Henry's Henry's the physical guy. So he's strong. Which means if we go into the activities, we can set Henry to be the guy who does hunting. He can do cutting scavenging i want a priority for him to scavenge and then delivery also a priority i want hope to do deliveries now rocker is the construction guy so i want him mainly focused on construction tailoring assembling crafting and construction i think construction priority one for him because he is extremely strong in construction and as things grow, your people will, their skills will increase in different activities that they get involved in. Right, Rita is the one who's interested in farming, but she also has cooking and crafting interest. And she's pretty intelligent. So, cooking, crafting, I want her to be like a priority three on crafting, but mainly on cooking. And I think we'll leave the rest right there. That, that should be fine. So we've got their schedule set up, we've got their activities set up. We need beds and because we found a few things we can now put beds in we need to observe this because this will create hay and i think we need hay for the beds and as you can see our construction materials are being kept over here and the rest of the stuff is on these racks cool but we do need to get the bed sorted out also really important this game has a massive tech tree so if we're going to look at the research we have got a lot of stuff that we're going to have to research and it does take a while to get research done so we should probably get a start on that so under science get the research desk and now oh, we've got enough wood so let's put a wooden research bench up against the wall and get that set up also in the first few days there's going to be a lightning storm all right because we've now observed these berries which we can now see off it's a fruit bush uh, we can actually farm them. Now, we're not going to because obviously there's a heck of a lot of it lying around. But if we wanted to, we could. In the research, the first thing I'm going for is the lightning rods because there is a lightning storm coming soon. And when that happens, we're going to need to have a lightning rod to protect our people. Uh, I think the next thing I will go for possibly... Oh, I've got breakthroughs. Not really nice ones, but yeah, they'll, they'll be okay. Get metal refinement done as well. And then construction basics because we do want to have a, a nice house and the base building mechanic in this game is actually pretty good now research bench is done and hope is busy researching for us good stuff all right so i'm not going to worry too much about beds for now but we are going to get a sleeping spot sorted out we we need a few of them yeah more of these and hold shift and we'll just separate them a little bit so that they are less disturbed by movement because hope is going to be running around while they're trying to sleep and disturbed sleep makes people very unhappy damn i can't believe it i haven't even researched this and they're already on my back with the thunderstorms oh, please don't hurt anyone all right i'm gonna speed this up get things going lightning rods researched excellent i'm gonna put one in immediately red hope is researching Let's see what other research we can queue up i'm not going to worry about animal taming for a while but we do want weaponsmithing because there will be attacks coming. So I want to get that done. And spaceship deconstruction, we'll get that done as well. I haven't seen camp management before. This uh, co unlocks construction of work, work areas to delineate restricted zones for work and habitation. 
That's interesting. Yeah, let me cue that one. Um, early game, we might as well get that sorted out. Uh, okay, so Alpha and Henry and Rafa has been affected. So hopefully we can sort them out. We do have some medical kits available, but it doesn't seem too bad. They seem to be recovering on their own. Henry got a lightning injury. I wonder if that affects him. Movement, 95%. Oh, that's a bit harsh. All right, well, hopefully that gets sorted out. Good, okay. It doesn't seem like folks have anything to do right now. So what have we got here? Silicon leaf. Let's go and cut those. And we'll cut those. I will harvest those. We also need to go and observe this stuff. Observe tube plant. And we have synthetic leggings available from... So oh, it must be out of the, the ship. How are we doing on this? Scavenge progress, 9 out of 10. All right, we also need to keep cutting down trees. I would like to observe one though, so let's let's pick one because we haven't observed yet, uh, and then we'll just trees cut, and then there's a wide leafed plant in there somewhere. Where is it? Oh, there it is. We might as well set it to be observed, and then there are these strange plants over here, twisted plant. We'll observe that. There are these kind of melon type things. We'll observe that squash like. Oh, it looks like these guys have been fighting. Oh, we could get some free meat here. Let's butcher those. These animals here. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, I don't want to butcher that one. I want to observe it. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. Well, then it's getting butchered. This dude is bleeding. All right. So I actually think I have too many things queued up. So we're not going to observe anything else until we are done. And Hope is researching and... We finished researching metal refinements. I'm not too worried. Metal alloys are not a big issue at the moment. Construction basics are getting done. Let's have a look, a look at our research tree. Let's get let's get the electrical grids sorted. I don't know how early I'm going to put them up because I don't know if I'm going to use them very early, but it's always good to have them. All right, so we are now going into, into night. Henry's getting something to eat. Hope is still researching like crazy. Uh, let's have a look at how she's doing. Her intellect has already passed one. It started at nothing, so that's that's pretty good. We might have to get her into some other activities. Henry's asleep. Where is Rita? Okay, there's Rocker. Everyone looks healthy. That lightning injury, how bad is it? Yeah, it's still affecting him. Go on. Should have kept a closer eye on them. Telling me there's another storm coming? Let's see what weapons do we have. Okay, so we've got a laser pistol. And I think I'm going to give that... No, I don't want to break it down. Equipment. Uh, there's a laser pistol for you. Alright, because he's our combat guy, so it makes sense for him to have that. I'm going to set this wreck out here to be scavenged. So it gets out of our way. We have the weaponsmith now. So, let's go and have a look... So we've got all these little stars up on our taskbar down now. That means that there are new items in there. So farming, we can now farm all of these things. What I would like to find is some, some wheat. See, right now we've only got fruit. That's blade grass. And there are some other strange plants out here. And these are tall leafy plant. We're going to observe them. Yeah, but maybe not while it's raining like this. All right, well, Henry, you're going to get wet, bro. Sorry. Or whoever's working out there. All right, Hope. I'm going to send you out to go and do some observing. Take a break and go all the way out here and go and observe. Okay, Rock is having a risk of meltdown, which means we need some leisure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a shooting target out in this direction. And once that's built, they can let off a bit of steam there. Now, Rocker doesn't have anything. He's just sleeping. Hope has reached intellect too. Good. Okay, we've only got four days worth of food supplies, so I need to pick up some more of these. We'll harvest those. Maybe just a little bit more. And we're going to need some more wood. We're always going to need wood. Why isn't this wood being picked up? Do we not have enough space for it? It is true. We do not have enough space for it. So I'll add another row of stockpiles right there. And we've just been contacted. A plea for help. My name is Jack Davies. I witnessed your daring escape from the consortium's base. I've attempted to contact you en route, but my ship suffered severe damage in hyperspace and crash landed some distance away from here. Since then, I've been surviving in the wilderness. I'm eager to 
assist you in safeguarding this precious new life form, would you consider accepting me into your group? Of course, dude. Welcome. We are going to need another bed. So we'll just put him over there. And let's see what Jack brings to the party. Okay, he's got some good clothing. He's a combat guy as well. That is excellent. Because combat guys are always welcome. And he's physical. And he's pretty intelligent. And he can do construction. That's excellent. We need more lightning rods. So I'm going to cover an area that I think we're going to be working in the most. Put one over there. I was holding the wrong down button. One over here. That should cover us fairly well. For now. Just on research. Let's have a look. Okay, spaceship deconstruction. That's coming so that we can get this salvaged. And we've discovered Heptagonia. Which is this stuff out here, I believe. Yep. And that gives us sweet syrup. We can then make sweet syrup from it. And the locals are having a little bit of an argument. Hmm, bugger. That sucks for that dude. I'm going to start actually cutting some stuff. Okay, I hear a ship. Let's see. It looks like the ship dropped people off over there. Let's grab Henry. All right, so here the guys have landed. A uh, bit of an awkward spot. I think we're going to take Henry... And Jack, we, we have a bit of a problem because we don't really have ranged weapons, but Jack and Henry. Now, Henry, I would expect to go fast, but because he has uh, been injured, it might be a bit of a problem. So I'm not sure if it's a good idea to go out here. Oh, wait, hold on. I need both of them. Oh, and the consortium's attacking. Which way are they going? They're coming through here. All right, let's, uh, let's get defensive, guys. Okay, first, Henry, attack. Oh dear. Don't do... Jack, attack. And they've got crossbows, so that's a bit of a problem. Henry, dude, you need to shoot the guys with the crossbows. Oh boy, Henry's... Henry's not doing well. Oh, come on. Hope. Yes, go and fetch Henry. Alright, does that mean they're all down? Cool. Okay, so now we need to scavenge all of these guys. And we can undraft... And Hope is on her way to pick up Henry. I hope he survives. But touch and go right now. All right, while things are happening, let's have a look at what else we've got. Okay, everybody, something went terribly wrong with the recording. Um, Jack does survive, and it will be back with us for the second episode. There was a bit of panic because I hadn't built a workbench and uh, I needed bandages so I could stop the bleeding. And uh, I managed to get it just in time just in the nick of time and uh, jack survived and we we didn't manage to do much after this but we did gather some resources from those fallen robot soldiers and uh yeah that is that so if you like this video give us a like if you want to see more subscribe hit the bell icon for notifications leave me your comments let me know what you think uh, this was much shorter than i was hoping it would be but yeah i do apologize for that in any case i appreciate you being here Thanks for the support, and until next time, cheers.